Live in Pasadena with the latest. John, what's beneath the surface of Barnacle Bill? Well, good evening, Joey. Can you imagine more famous now than bedrock in the Flintstone? Here's Barnacle Bill. And imagine this kind of a history the poor guy had. He was probably blown out of a volcano, buried for many, many years. Then a meteor may have smashed him back up onto the surface. Then a flood washes him from the highlands down into this valley. Poor Barnacle Bill. And still, scientists aren't sure exactly what Barnacle Bill is made of. But to try and explain a little bit of that for us is Jim Bell. And Jim, one of the principal scientists, uh, investigators here. Today, there is a panorama of video here of, yeah, of one of the images of uh, the rover. Right. And that is uh, with Barnacle Bill right there on the left-hand side. Right, and you can start to see we're getting some of this wonderful color data back, John, and you can really see uh, some of the, the wonderful contrast in color on this, both on the surface. There's uh, bright red areas and dark red areas, different kinds of soils there, and in the rocks. Uh, in, in fact, uh, Bill himself has, uh, you can see his left side was sort of red, and his right side is much darker. And here now, we're, I guess we're going to pan. This is the panoramic view, that, okay. uh, part of the, uh, the, the, the monster pan. Right, this is the, the so-called monster pan, because it's just a monstrous amount of data. It took uh, several days to beam it back down to the Earth, and you can see it's in, it's in three colors, and so we're getting a, sort of a, a, a human's eye view of what the color of the surface is like if we, if we were there. Um, and there's, uh, there's Bill and the rover coming into the... the and in the distance behind that is Yogi, there's of course, Yogi, that's where right. uh, the Sojourner rover is, is stationed at right now. That's right. Let me ask you, we're hearing so much about how it turns out that Mars may be a lot more like Earth than you folks ever imagined, and certainly more like Earth than the Moon is like Earth. This is true. Well, one, of the, one of the neat things about being involved as a scientist in this project, John, is that we get the opportunity to speculate with the first data. And our colleagues, this just drives them crazy because they don't have the data and they hear us speculating and we come up with some crazy ideas sometimes and it just drives them wild. Uh, and one of the speculations that we have, and, and I've got a little model here, I brought a friend with me today. Uh, this is a uh, volcanic rock that is in, in many ways similar to what uh, Barnacle Bill is like. It's smaller, uh, but it has a lot of the same kind of uh, textures that uh, we see in the, the low resolution data for Barnacle Bill that we have. Um, and when you analyze these types of rocks chemically, you come up with certain abundances of iron and magnesium and silicon and all your standard periodic table elements. And what we found in the first measurement of Barnacle Bill is that specifically the silicon, okay, the SI, is much higher in Bill than it is in typical volcanic rocks. And so if we pretend that we can speculate on some wild ideas for a couple of minutes, uh, one possibility is that the, the rocks are, are not like the volcanic rocks that we see on the Earth, but they're much more like the rocks that the continents on the Earth are made of, okay? Or uh, if you want to think of the vo volcano analogy, this would be a, a volcanic rock from a Hawaiian volcano, something that oozes out of the surface really slowly. And Bill has a composition that's much more like Mount St. Helens, for example, which explodes out of the surface. So. Some fascinating, fascinating things yeah. that you guys are just beginning to unravel about this. Hopefully, you and I will have time to talk about more of these, uh, these fascinating discoveries. And again, a lot of it's just uh, speculating, just uh, getting beneath the surface, so to speak, Joey, of, of all that the, they are beginning to find out about Mars and about uh, its early history and its comparisons to Earth. A lot more fascinating things to come in the days ahead. Joey? We can't wait to hear about them, John. Thanks very much. John Zarella for us in Pasadena. First examining Barnacle Bill, the roaming rover now has nosed its way to a bolder NASA scientist nicknamed Yogi. CNN's Jennifer Author has the latest on the Pathfinder mission to Mars. As NASA's tiny robotic geologist demonstrated its ability to crab over for a better view of a bear-shaped rock called Yogi, scientists Wednesday at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, remained baffled about the mineral makeup of a rough-surfaced rock they've named Barnacle Bill. Scientists are clear, though, about how snaring three-dimensional and panoramic pictures, as well as data from the Mars surface, has turned their lives upside down. When you say good morning as the sun is setting, now that's living on Martian solar time, when your sunglasses look like this, <laughs> that's living on Martian time, when there's no time for laundry and you get your shirts out of the box of Project T-shirts every day, that's living on Martian solar time.
Behind the laughter, the Pathfinder scientific team is wrestling with dueling theories about that rock, Barnacle Bill. The rough texture of the surface uh, suggested to some of the, the folks uh, that are working on it that the rock might be a mixture of rock fragments, which is generically termed a, a breccia. Using a mosaic of images sent back by Pathfinder's camera, the crew has created a 360-degree view of the Martian surface. They call it the Monster Pan. So far, the team has named about 20 rock formations, and plans are to move on to study some twin peaks on the Mars horizon, as well as a low hill, which scientists say they think is the edge of a crater. This is unbelievable. You have 70 scientists like kids in candy shops here at the end of fire hoses of data who <laughs> just grinning from ear to ear. Scientists say they think that crater was created when some foreign object collided with Mars. From the rock Yogi, the team plans to steer the sojourner east to collect data on rocks dubbed Casper and Scooby-Doo. How long could the sojourner go on? There's nothing consumable on board that would preclude it from operating for a good, good deal of time. So, you know, the sky's the limit here. Scientists say Friday will be the earliest. We'll all get a chance to see a color panoramic photograph of the red planet, along with up-close pictures of the rock Yogi and Pathfinder's rover. Jennifer Author, CNN, Pasadena, California. And CNN will bring you NASA's next Mars briefing Thursday afternoon at 3.30 p.m. Eastern, 12.30 Pacific. And of course...